correctly, is Morgan Freeman got his first role when he was in his 50s, I believe. And look at him now. Everybody knows the name Morgan Freeman. He got his big break. And a big break doesn't happen for everybody. There's numerous actors who are successful who you guys wouldn't know their names, you know? Like, they're not well-known to the public, but they're definitely still succeeding as actors. And Morgan Freeman got a household name at the age of 50-something. And the other thing I always remind myself is Timothy Chalamet auditioned for Spider-Man and got through right to the end and didn't get it. Tom Holland did. And at that time, he was devastated and thought that that was his shot out the window. But now, if we all look at Spider-Man as Timothy Chalamet, we'd be like, no, that just doesn't fit. But Timothy Chalamet playing the roles where he's doing the really deep and heavy emotional scenes of like drug addict or, you know, he does a lot of period pieces as well. Like he does a lot of that like deep emotional styled stuff. And that's so much more fitting to him. And that happened like a year after he didn't get Spider-Man. And like, if he was Spider-Man, it would just be so incorrect. You know, like Spider-Man should have been Tom Holland and Timothy Chalamet should have been in the roles that he was in. So it's also that thing of like, you actually never know when you're going to book something. And every time you get a no, it's just facts that it just wasn't meant for you. It's never anything personal. They always know what they're looking for. Um, why are you just in your car? Because my apartment's a mess because I'm moving and I just don't want to go inside. You should have been in Charlie's Angels. <gasps> Stop it. That would have been a dream. Did you eat today? I haven't eaten yet today. Um... Do you have a roof over your head? Yes. Grateful for that. Where's your boyfriend? I don't have one. I don't want one. <laughs> Call me by your name. I haven't actually seen that movie yet. Oh, I love that filter. Thank you. <laughs> Don't you get asked out all the time? No. I never get asked out. Guys don't have that kind of game these days. Well, maybe I'm just talking to the wrong guys, but yeah. Yeah, girls ask the guys out, I feel. It's called Riz, facts. I love the word Riz. I use it all the time these days. Like, you gotta have Riz. <laughs> Honestly, Riz is the epitome of someone being attractive, in my opinion. Like, if you're, if you're like a solid five, but you've got Riz, you're like easily a nine and a half. Easily. Like a guy that can just take control and like know the room, know the situation and like body it is so hot to me. But not do it in an ego way. Do it in like a, I'm confident in my own. When a guy is confident in their own skin, that is the hottest thing ever. And I think that's why I'm always attracted to like the, the like, lankier less like conventionally attractive guys because they always seem to be way more confident in their own feet than someone who's like going to the gym every day and is like yeah I'm so attractive and I'm so sexy like I don't know am I making sense like that's just a obviously generalized opinion but I I just I go off that sometimes it's just me my personal opinion And I also just think that the guys that are like smart and intelligent always have that 
you know, like they're always like they have they take pride in the fact that they're smart and intelligent, which I think is really, really sexy. Apart from like, you know, you can get guys that are like, I've got muscles. So I'm, you know, they use that to like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It's just my type. Everybody's subject to their own opinion, you know. Have you ever had biscuits and gravy? I've never had biscuits and gravy. What a random thing. How old are you? I'm 23. Have you ever gone camping? I used to go camping. Um... I used to go camping every weekend when I was growing up. Would you date a guy that makes less money than you? Yeah. I honestly believe that I'm going to be like the breadwinner of my family one day. <laughs> like, I just feel that. I'm such a workaholic that I just have this feeling I'm going to be like making the buckets. 